Hey, I'm Scott Belding, and you're watching Artbeat. Come with us while we discover the arts in Contra Costa County. Let's meet the artists who make this a beautiful place to live. This is brought to you by the Arts and Culture Commission of Contra Costa County. Um, Jack was, was one of the first to, to, up here to really do a job with an LP at San Jose State. And uh, he used to say uh, that when you're looking at a photograph, there's two people. I, I loved it, this, what he said because I use it in my teaching. Somebody asked me, what is this photograph supposed to be? I said, well, what are you bringing to it as well as what you're receiving back from it? Because it's, it's something that you see at the image and the, the image comes back to you visually and mentally and so on. And it depends on who you are, what are you seeing there? You can see what's there, the real sense of the photograph, the, the structure of it, but then the meaning of it depends on what your psychology is as well. So it's a very complicated sense. So some people will look at a photograph and be enamored by it, and other people will say, "Why did he make that photograph?" You know. So you you have to you have to be honest with yourself as a photographer to do what you think is important enough to do, and let the chips fall where they may. In a sense, um, that to me is the best way. You don't if you try to to try to please the public, you're going to be a weak photographer. If you're just doing that. And you're not, you don't have a sense of what you really want to do. Um, and of course, um, well, I, I, that's, that's about it. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's a great answer. Um, can you talk just a little bit about what it felt like to you to be in some of those scenarios, shooting um, pyramids and the jungles? And what did it feel like? those moments of creation when you're making those images happen? Well, you know, uh, when, you, when you start, when you go to these different places and, uh, and, and look at the old pyramids, you can't help but think about the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, situ the societies that lived there at one time. I mean, all this kind of stuff comes back to you. And, and particularly when you're there and you're, you're by yourself, you kind of reflect on what's, what's there. But um, there's an awful lot that makes you feel small. I mean, <laughs> when you think about it, you know, you're, you're insignificant in a sense to, to, the, to the grandeur of what you're thinking about and what you're seeing. So it really works on you. And you hope to make a photograph that brings back some of that sense. And it's hard to do that with a with a with a with a, with a archaeological uh, ruin. Uh, it can be beautiful archaeological ruin. So it, it, it's the architecture and so on. But you want to you want a sense of you want some sense of the people that did it, I guess. And that's hard hard to do. That's I don't a, think that's I, a big responsibility. It, it is a big responsibility. Yeah. Uh, so so I, I after a while I began to realize that there were other photographers probably. Although well, some of my photographs I like very much, but I think there's a lot of other photographers who did that well, and uh, and then of course I got into the color, and that to me was was really what made me my photographs in Mexico take off for, for myself because they be, they're really real, the colors that are there and, and what is what is what is put on a wall by some. Uh, some person who's just put a paintbrush and had, had no experience, but has his heart put into the work. That, that excites me. Authenticity. I'll, I'll tell you a funny story, Authenticity. Though. What's that? Authenticity. Authenticity, exactly. Yeah. 